How's it going, everybody? Thought I would share with you how I brew my vermicompost tea, or worm tea, however you guys like to call it. Um, so let's get down to it, guys. We have a five-gallon Home Depot bucket. Filled it up about four gallons, you can say. I'll explain why I don't fill it up all the way. Dechlorinated water that's been aerating for about 24 hours now. We have a five-gallon paint strainer from Home Depot. We have our fish emulsion, our kelp meal, and our good old molasses, sugars for the micro. They'll go nuts for that stuff, guys, once you add it. Well, I'll explain why. We have our uh, Alaskan hummus, ancient forest, general organics. Rich in organic matter, guys, very rich. That is key, guys. And also, worm castings. I put about two cups of ancient forest, the hummus, and two cups of worm castings. A tablespoon, well, two tablespoons fish emulsion, two tablespoons of kelp meal, and two tablespoons of molasses. So, those are my ingredients and those are my mixes for when I brew my teas. Once I add all, all that in there, also, you guys, make sure you guys have good air stones or good air supply. All right, that is key. All right. You need, you need to aerate this compost okay by adding that molasses that sugar you're feeding the microbes everything I mean they go crazy for that and these microbes will multiply in the millions and the purpose of doing this is to revitalize your soil to replenish it so by adding this compost tea you're replenishing all these microbes that are in your soil. These microbes have a symbiotic relationship with your plant. These microbes make food available for your plants, along with my red wigglers, my composting worms, and all the little living creatures in the soil. They all help break down organic matter and make food available. So by doing so, guys, I mean, once you add this stuff, your plants will thank you and they will love you and this stuff is like candy for them guys I mean you'll see what I'm talking about after 24 hours well I'm gonna let this brew for about 48 hours the longer you let it brew the better I do a 48 hour brew if I need to do a quick brew 24 hours anyways reason why I only add four gallons is because all this on top you're gonna see that it's gonna fluff up it's gonna foam up like crazy and that's just, just you're gonna see all those microbes multiply and that's what that's that's what's going on so it is very important guys you guys if you guys are doing organic no-tilling gardening it is this is key to having an awesome rich living soil and that's what no-tilling is all about you know, it's not for you to, oh, I got to buy another bottle of nutrients and this and that. No, your soil is supposed to do all the work for you. Like I said, if you feed the soil, the soil is going to feed your plants. It's, that's simple. That is the key to a successful organic gardening. So I'm not knocking off other brand or other, you know, whatever you guys do, that's on you. But this is my way. This is my organic no-tilling way, you know. I, I let Mother Nature do her, her you know, her work. <laughs> so, again, guys, brewing up your tea, revitalizing, re-supercharging your soil, <laughs> you could <can> say, <laughs> is awesome. It's good for your plants. And you'll see, and I will post up updates after I'm done feeding, and you will see my plants thanking me. And I will guarantee you guys, your plants will thank you as well. All right, guys, well, I hope this helped out any of your questions. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of videos on YouTube and, and, you know, you're trying to search compost tea and, you know, people don't explain thoroughly what it's for or how they do it and this and that. So, I, uh, you know, I wanted to make a video for you guys so you guys can see, you guys can understand the purpose of brewing up tea. 
right, guys? It's a symbiotic relationship these microbes have with your plant. Your plant works with them. Your microbes work with your plant. It, it's it's vice versa. It's it's mother nature, guys. And it is, guys. So remember, guys. Brew up your tea. <laughs> so uh, if you guys have any questions, you guys can comment below, or you can reach me at uh, Google Plus Pepper Lovers Community. Also on Hangouts, Google Hangouts. And uh, like I said, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. You know, I'll do my best to answer your questions. Also, like my video. Please subscribe. And I hope you guys have an awesome Labor Day weekend. Alright guys, take care.